An Indianapolis mother is in disbelief tonight after her 14 year old son was shot and killed over the weekend. WRTV's Adam Schum spoke to the victim's family and to local doctors about the disturbing trend they are seeing with teens becoming victims of gun violence. You know, he was my son. That was my, that was my baby. You we can got, see disbelief just, on the face of Christina hours, Abney. She's trying to cope with the loss of her baby boy. I love him and he's so sad to do anything for him. He knows that if I would have been there, it wouldn't have happened. This weekend, her 14-year-old son, Jonathan Elliott, was shot and killed. These pictures and videos are all that the family has left to remember. And they'd have taken him to Riley and... We waited and waited and waited. And they got to tell me he was gone. Edinburgh police say that they were called to this home off South Pleasant Street Saturday night. In the home, they found Elliot, who was shot in the chest. He later died at Riley Hospital for Children. A 20-year-old suspect was arrested in the case and charged with reckless homicide. This world has gone crazy. People need to really start valuing other people's lives. And you can't just take people's lives just because. Kids shouldn't be dying before us. While the case remains under investigation, numbers from Riley Hospital for Children paint a bigger picture of the state of gun violence impacting Indiana's youth. This year, 13 kids have shown up who've been shot. Last year, that number was 41 for the entire year. And sometimes minutes really makes the difference for patients like these. Uh, where, you know, a blood transfusion that happens a minute earlier or uh, a tourniquet that's placed in, 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 a, in the right time to prevent bleeding out. If he wouldn't have had that gun, my son would still be here. He'd still be alive. And Jonathan didn't deserve it. For Christina, she's now left staying strong for her family while she tries to cope with the fact that her son won't be walking through her front door anymore. You have to pull that trigger. It doesn't just, guns don't just go off. They don't just shoot people. Adam Shumes, WRTV. Riley Hospital for Children has a full breakdown on how gun violence is impacting Indiana's youth. You can find that report on our website at WRTV.com.